DEI has launched a university-wide learning management system called Course Central. It is a Moodle-based LMS. It can be started by clicking on the Course Central link on the main page of DEI website or by typing deilms.dei.ac.in slash deilms directly into your browser. Each course teacher has been given a username and password using which they can log into the system. Please don't forget to change your password at the first login. You will have to contact the system administrator if you want to change your login again. A course site has been created for each and every course running at present at DEI. When a teacher logs in to Course Central, he will see all the courses he is teaching at present. A general student login has been created and associated with each course at present. All students can log in with that username and access the contents uploaded by the teacher on a course site. Just for once, a course teacher has to populate his course site, that is, he has to upload all the study material or any multimedia content onto his course site and provide links for the student's access. Of course, a teacher only will have rights to upload or change the content and maintain his course site and student will only be able to see or download that content. Now let me start populating CSM 703 course site. Click on CSM 703 link that is visible on the page. We are seeing two topics, topic 1 and topic 2. Click on turn editing on. This makes the page editable. We will upload syllabus in topic 1. Click on add an activity or resource in topic 1 section. A dialog box opens up where you can select any type of resource you would like to upload. We want to display syllabus in a page therefore select page and click on add button. This leads you to adding a new page details page. Type name and description of the material you are uploading Now open the file from where you have to copy the syllabus to be pasted here. Copy the relevant syllabus material Come back to Course Central Click on the working area of page content Press Ctrl V to paste the copied syllabus text Please note that you will not be able to paste text by right clicking the mouse button and selecting paste from the context menu. Finally click on save and return to course button. We can also change the section name from topic 1 to whatever we want. Let me change the section name from topic 1 to syllabus. To do this click on the setting icon below topic 1. It shows the summary of topic 1. Uncheck use default section name and write your own section name in the text box. That is syllabus. Click on save changes to finalize the change. Topic 1 has been changed to syllabus. Let's do the same with topic 2 to change the section name to question bank. We can upload a file question bank in this section. To change section name click on setting icon below topic 2. Uncheck use default section name. Put in the section name that is question bank. And click on save changes. Then click on add an activity or resource in topic 2 section. In the open dialog box select file since we want to upload the question bank file and click on add. Now you can put the name and description of the material you are uploading that is 
question bank in this particular case. Now move to content section and click on the files icon as shown here to select the file to be uploaded. Click on browse to open file selection dialog box. Select the file to be uploaded. Click on open button. Finally click on the upload this file button. This will make the content section show your file icon. Finally click on save and return to course button to finalize the change. Question bank section is now set. Now we will add a new section. Make it a resources section and learn how we can upload any file or learning material for others to share. The procedure is pretty much the same as setting up of question bank section. Click on the shown icon to increase the number of sections. A new section topic 3 is created. Now we will do exactly the same things as we did to populate question bank. Click on the settings icon below topic 3. Change the section name to resources. Don't forget to uncheck use default section name before you do it. Click on save changes. Click on add an activity or resource link. Select file from the menu. Click add. Put the name and description of the material you are uploading. Let's say presentation. Now move to content section and click on the files icon as shown here to select the file to be uploaded. Click on browse to open file selection dialog box. Select the file to be uploaded. Click on open button. Finally click on the upload this file button. This will make the content section show your file icon. Finally click on save and return to course button to finalize the change. One file in the resources is uploaded and is now showing. You can upload any number of files here in the resources section or any section for that matters. In the same way you can even create a folder and upload a file into that folder. Your basic course site settings that you have to do just once are done. Now we will learn how we can put announcements for any upcoming events in our course. Suppose I want to announce a date for submission of a home assignment in CSM 703. To do that click on new event link in the upcoming events section. It opens a setting up page for new event section. Keep the type of the event to be course. This way announcements will be seen by all who access this course. You can select user here if you want the announcement for a particular set of users. Give the event title and the description. Set the date and time at which the event is to be held. You can also specify the duration through which this event will be held. For that select until in the duration and specify the date and time. Finally click on save changes to finalize the uploading of the event. This event will be visible in the calendar also to anyone who logs into this course site. Since I am the teacher of this course, my role for the system on this course site is that of a manager. So a manager is able to upload, remove or change the content on the course site and as I said earlier, student will only be able to see it or download it. 
a manager may want to keep some of his files privately in his login account on the course central to do that go to your home page you may do it by clicking my home link then in my private files section click on manage my private files button it takes you to the file section click on the link as shown here and then click on browse button it opens a file selection dialog box select any file from the file system and click on open button finally click on upload this file button to upload it onto the site same way you can even create a folder and upload a file into that folder also your file will be showing in this section now click on save changes button to finalize the my private files section we can always switch our role to a student role and see how a course site will be seen by a student when he logs into your course site to switch roles click on a particular course number seen in the navigation section it opens up the administration section expand the switch role to link by clicking on its icon and then click on student link now you are seeing it as a student would see it and feel it for example click on syllabus link to see the syllabus click on question bank to download and save question bank file to your computer or click on presentation link in resource section to download and save this file to your local computer finally you can click on return to my normal role link in administration section to return back to your normal role of manager you can see all the recent activities that were carried out on this site and yes don't forget to click on logout link to log out of the system hopefully this covers all the necessary aspects of the course central that you will be using if you have any further queries then you can email them to me at sanjay.s.saini@gmail.com or to vandana@hivandana@gmail.com thank you for your time